What's good guys? Welcome back to another video on Harry's Prusa 3D printing tips. And today I'm going to be talking to you about some more top, top modifications that I've done since my previous video on the MMU2S. So the most notable one since my last video is this, in which I've added a custom uh, PTFE coupler system which uses a set of PC4M5 pneumatic tubes, which are the same tubes as the um, the ones on the extruder, the original Festo tubing ones. Uh, and they really help because um, I've discovered that it's just, when it comes to diagnosing the MMU2S, it's really easy just to push this and remove the tube to take out the filament, etc. you know clean out the MMU2S, it just makes everything a whole load easier. So yeah, I printed that. I also printed this really cool model on printables, which is basically a stackable thing that allows me to keep the, uh, the spare print sheet like for the bed on there. And I also printed this that uses the tools that come with the Mark 3S Plus kit and the MMU2S kit. And basically it's just a nice tool organizer so that, you know, I've got everything at my fingertips. And especially like having the Allen keys there is so useful because when you're, I don't know, say you need to tighten up some bolts on the printer, you just take this and then, you know, use it over there. I've also had a little mascot which I think he's really cool, little baby group. And also down here, I've done a slight fan modification and uh, this is meant to help the airflow so that uh, basically improves the print cooling. I was gonna do the dual fan mod, the dual 5015 fan mod, but personally, I didn't really wanna mess with the actual com original components of the printer. So I just went, opted to go for that. I'll link it down in the description. And yeah, that's basically it really. I got another fresh roll of Prusa Galaxy Black filament and I've got some like, Galaxy Silver PLA Prusament on the way for a custom project that I'm doing at school. Can't wait to show you guys that, pretty sick. And so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted and updated. If you have any more questions, queries, please feel free to put the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But for now, happy 3D printing.